Welcome, escapaders. I'm Hani. This is Ninja. And we live full time in this RV. This is pre reno and the renovated mixed swagger. We travel, enjoy nature, photograph beauty, explore, hike, and kayak. And enjoy. Welcome to Hani's Escapades. Welcome to part two of my weekend escapades with the Yaris Mini Camper, where I leave my free campsite in Valley of the Gods and explore Monument Valley. Monument Valley Navajo Tribal Park was established in 1958 by the Navajo Tribal Council. It's part of the 13,000 square miles of the Colorado Plateau. The massive buttes, monoliths, and mesas have been sculpted from the natural forces of earth, wind, and water. Monument Valley is a scenic wonderland characterized by vast sand stone buttes. The tallest of the buttes reaches an elevation of 1,000 feet off the valley floor. The majestic Valley Tribal Park on the Utah-Arizona border is one of the many jewels found in the heart of the Navajo Nation. Monument Valley, the eighth wonder of the world, is home to some of the most photographed vistas on earth. We will see you next week for my day trip to Grand Junction, Colorado, where I get some errands done and visit James M. Robb Colorado State Park, just in time to see the fall colors changing. Enjoy, escapaders! Everybody. So I decided to turn my Yaris into a camper van for the night so I could get out of Dodge and kind of do some outdoor stuff. And so I'm going to show you how I did it. Here goes. So what I did was I took the two cushions from my RV that my mom made and I put them in an L shape. So they're one's long ways and then the other one is lengthwise. And I can sleep really comfortably in there as long as my front seat is up and I have pillows. So this is my bed right here with, um, you know, with my sleeping bag, which is goose down. And then over here is all my kitchen supplies right there, right there, um, which I bring in at night because I don't want to attract any animals. <clears throat> and then my... Jackery 240 is right there and that's ran my fan last night so that I could have circulation in the vehicle and feel like I was at home and it went from 100% charge to 87% charge which is pretty awesome. And then um, I use it as a stand so I ate dinner here with, you know, like the top open last night. I made it and then I just sat right here and used it as a table. And then um, in there I have waters, a couple of waters hidden for in the night when I'm thirsty and I have a book. And then there's extra space for me to like put things right here if I need to. Like I had my notes and my journal and then back there, there, <laughs> I have all my warm gear so 
you know, like my hoodie, my hoodie and of course my lamp, my headlamp, which I need easy access to. And then I do, I put in my makeshift, up front I have just like my regular sun visor <clears throat> to keep the light out and then I did make reflectix for the two front windows and I did for the back window as well. And those seem to be working really well. I did not have enough reflectix for these littler back windows, or I guess smaller. And so I just went and got poster board and I, <clears throat> you know, stenciled them out and everything. They definitely fell out through the night. So I'm gonna use those as cutouts and then I'll go get a little more reflectix and that'll take care of that. And there was a little bit of condensation on the windows, but that's to be expected. So I was really pleasantly surprised. I slept until eight and I didn't even know it was daytime. I woke up and I was like, all right, here we go. Um, so um, let me show you the front of the car. So if you come over to the driver's side, I have my seat up. And then of course you can see my hoodie and my mittens and the pockets. And then up here I have my go bag and my day pack hiking bag which also has all of my clothes for the weekend in it. And then of course my bear spray, which um, was closer to me, but I've started to put things away already. And then I have a dirty clothes bag and then my purse. And then back there is my camera, but you can't really see it. And then I'll show you the other side. So this is the other side. I do have my porta potty that my dad gave me with extra water outside that shouldn't attract animals. And I gotta figure out a better way to do it because I'm pretty exposed, <laughs> like really exposed. Um, thankfully, this is my view and there is absolutely not one person near me to be able to see me back here. And the view is amazing. So I was somewhat secluded tonight or last night. <laughs> um, there is no one around except for those people way off in the distance right there. But, you know, they can't see me back behind here, thankfully. Um, so I've been using that. And then back here, I just have a little tissue box and then I put it in the trash can. And then in here, <clears throat> down here, I have my ice chest and all my food. And then I've started putting food together for lunch and stuff for easy access. And then up here I have an extra tent in case anything happens. And I have an extra sleeping bag in case I get cold. And then I did put um, my, my laptop in here and I actually get 3G with full service here, which is better than my RV park. And, but unfortunately my Verizon hotspot's not working right now, so I just, unplugged for the night and read my book um and then I do use the you know cup holders and stuff for all my drinks you can see my tea is back there Oop, back there and my water is right here and then my coffee and my cacao is out out um it's just free, freshly brewed so I'm enjoying that so from my car slash Yaris camper van. I have this insane view and a little like overlook ledge where I can go and check out the sights, which are pretty amazing. I'm just trying not to fall off the cliff. And it just keeps going. So here's a 360 view in Valley of the Gods. That rock looks small, but it's huge. And then there is the road and then there's this monster structure right across from me.
is pretty wild. How pretty it is. And this rock structure goes way up there. And that is where I parked last night and slept and enjoyed my days off. There is a freaking horse here. Oh my goodness. He's hanging out. Not a bad place to ride a horse. Pretty awesome views. Okay, I couldn't see it before, but it's it's two horses. Rad. Out for a morning stroll. So this is the little road I came in on, and it probably isn't doing it much justice from a video, but there's some pretty gnarly spots in here. Um, I did not bottom out, but I wanted to check it out before I leave one more time because the Yaris is not a high clearance vehicle and I was really clear careful coming in because I definitely didn't want to like damage anything in the bottom of my car. But as you can see, there's some, uh, there's some pretty crazy little maneuvers and then you're kind of up on a little bit of a ledge here but it doesn't look bad I'm just gonna need to be cautious you know it probably looks pretty even on camera but it is not so I'll film it on the way out and see what happens <laughs> so I pack the RS a little bit differently when I'm going home because I'm going for a hike today so I wanted my um, my bag to be pretty readily accessible my my day pack and I wanted the porta potty to be the last thing in because there's absolutely no restrooms out here and I've drank a lot of coffee. So, but um, I like it better packed this way. So I guess it's all about trying things and figuring out what works best for you. So anyways, good luck to y'all on figuring out your own little camper van for the weekends. See you on the trail. creek bed is so crazy looking. It baffles me. I just drove through it and I wanted to stop and take a look at it because it's insane. Look at all the different layers and there's like a dude way back there bugging out. There he is. <laughs> 